Hi everyone. It is me, Sailor Mercury, Amy here, and today I'm going to talk about Shawn Michaels becoming the sixth main overseer of NXT. And why is it a big deal? Now, earlier this year, January the 5th, January the 5th, or first month the 5th, William Regal was fired from WWE. And at the time, he was the main overseer of NXT from 24 between YL to 2022 YL, being there longer than anyone else before him. Now, once when he was fired, there was no overseer of NXT. For a long time, matches just seemed to be made out of nowhere. Sometimes they would say, oh, well, it's WWE uh, leadership, as they would say sometimes. And sometimes you would think that there would be someone, but it never came up. And a lot of names were thrown out there. Devon Dugley, Finn Finley, Terry Taylor, Steve Carino, Jason Albert, Shawn Michaels. Yeah, there were a lot of folks out there. Johnny Saint. A lot of folks out there, they thought it would, you know, fall, it would go to them. There was even a belief that it was Johnny Saint, since NXT UK, which will shut down soon, was the offshoot of NXT. But there seemed to be no truth to back that up. Well, <clears throat> when the WWE, so when, okay, Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark were going to be offshoot of the NXT side of it for the WWE women's team winnings, and then it was came out that they couldn't go, it was Shawn Michaels that who made the call that they couldn't go. And he also talked with the main overseer of Raw and SmackDown, Adam Pearce. When William Regal was fired earlier this year, he was the longest main overseer, being there longer than Johnny Saint and, and Adam Pierce. Since John since William Regal was fired and Johnny Saint's time as being the main overseer of NXT UK is gonna come to an end, that's gonna make Adam Pierce the longest main overseer of NX of Raw and SmackDown. Getting off the side is I didn't think it would be Shawn Michaels. Now, I threw Shawn Michaels' name out there, but I didn't know it was going to be him. So now, Shawn Michaels is now the sixth overseer of NXT, taking over where Matt Stryker, William Regal, Dusty Rhodes, John Brescia Layfield, and William Regal left off at. Um, so far, that's the, that's, the first, that's the first time he's been the main overseer of NXT. Only time will tell if he shows up on the show and does some more things. But as of right now, Shawn Michaels is now the sixth overseer of NXT. And that's a good thing. Why? Because he's already there. He's already show running NXT anyway. And if they was going to choose someone, it would have been someone who would already someone who was there. Someone who could already take take on the uh, on Farseer uh, play work, you know, that's why I said it would have been Johnny, it would have been Terry Taylor or Steve Carino or Finn Finley or Devon Dugley or Jason Albert or Shawn Michaels. So Shawn Michaels is now the sixth uh, <clears throat> main overseer of NXT. And how long will he be at this for? When did he take over? Well, that's hard to say when he took over. I would say he took over probably on January the 5th, or most likely probably took over on first month the 5th. But it's hard to say for, sh for known. Since for a long time after that, any matches or any, ch any chooses that were being done, it was being WWE, it was either WWE leadership or NXT leadership was doing it. And I guess that was a stead holder for whoever was to take over, who did take over. 
you know? And some folks ask, why did Shawn Michaels not get named right away? First off, Hunter Hearst Helmsley was out with his heart hanging up what he, what he was going through. Two, Vince McMahon and, and Nick Kong, I would think, and also along with Kevin Dunn, they went through. I don't know if Brother Love had any did anything had anything to do with this, but I guess he did in some way. I'm gonna say that Christina Carrera, Michael P. X. Hayes, but I'm gonna say it was mostly between Brother Love, between Vince McMahon, Nick Kong, and Kevin Dunn. But someone went down there and started making all the shifts to the NXT show. And that included getting William Regal fired. Why? Who knows? And naming someone to take over for him. Well, that was just something I just didn't have time to do. So they said, well, it's WWE leadership. Or it's, you know, NXT leadership. That was just a stead holder for whoever was making all those matches. And making all those chooses and picks on the show. And I guess it was Shawn Michaels. And now it is. So, and I know there's going to be some folks out there thinking, oh, well, WWE should do away with that. WWE has always had someone on the show making all the matches and making all the chooses, if they had true oversight or not. You know, IW does, has Scott Demore, OVW has Dean Hill, WWE has... Uh, has Adam Pierce and Shawn Michaels and Johnny Saint, well, probably until the end of this month. Um, so, anyway, it is what it is. So, I'm happy that Shawn Michaels is the sixth main overseer of NXT. You know, and we'll see whatever things come out of it. Now, some folks might ask. Who will become the new and who will become the main overseer for NXT Europe or NXT Old World or NXT Evenland when it starts up? I don't know. Your guess is good as mine. It might be John. It may. It need be Johnny Saint. I don't know. Anyway, that's all the time I have here. If you like that film, then follow me over here at Sailor Moon for Life or watch the last film we made yesterday over here when Tuxedo Mask gave us thoughts on. Atlantic Renaissance Entertainment or New Birth, you know, Wesley Glee's take on Sailor Moon's first ever saga. I, I, Sailor Mercury, Amy, and I hope you like this film. Bye.